Tucker, are you going to be home late again today? Sorry, Yvonne. I've been swamped at work lately. I have to stay at the office for a while longer. Well, it must be hard to keep working over time. I really want to leave earlier and go home and see you and Macy, but I can't leave before my boss. Is Macy still awake? She just finished taking a bath and went to bed. She's tired from playing at daycare all day. Oh, yeah. She's only three years old. It's about time she went to bed. I'm really sorry making you take care of her. It's okay. You work hard for us. You say that, but you're working even harder. You work full time and you take care of the house. About that? Actually, I've been thinking about working from home lately. What? Work from home? You know, the work I do can be done from home. I want to be home for Macy. It would be easier for you to concentrate on your work if I stay home. But the salary would be lower than it is now, though. Hmm. You might want to think about that a little more. You've worked so hard, you should keep your job. I don't know. But I don't know how long I'll have the energy. To be honest, I'm exhausted every day. During busy periods at work, I can't really do much overtime, so I'm also trying to consider my colleagues. It's no wonder you have a small child. You're doing your best. I really don't know if I can keep going like this. I'm not taking care of the house properly, am I? When I'm busy, the house is a mess. I tend to cut corners on meals. It's like that in a house with two people both working. You think so? Well, it would help if you helped out more around the house. Sorry. Housework isn't my thing. I'll do my best to take care of Macy. Oh yeah, I'm going out with Macy this Sunday too. Oh, you're going out again? Yup. You've been going out a lot lately, haven't you? Just last week you took her to an amusement park? Really? I was thinking of taking her to the park this time. I'm glad you're taking her out to play, but could you spend more time relaxing at home? You're tired from work, aren't you? You don't have to go out. We could do something at home. Well, well, maybe I'll make a long overdue visit to my parents' house. Your parents' house? There's a big park nearby. My mom and dad would love to see Macy. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to take care of her. Then I can take it easy. I'll go with you then. What? I haven't seen your mother and father in a while. No, no, no. You don't have to go, Yvonne. You'll see them at New Year's anyway, right? That's true, but... Going to my parents' house will just stress you out. This will give you a chance to enjoy some time alone. Well, I'll take you up on that and do something by myself. I've been slacking on weeding the garden. You should do that. Oh... But I'm leaving everything up to you again. That's okay, you're watching Macy for me. Oh, that's right. I really appreciate it, Tucker. What? You work overtime on weekends, and lately on your days off, you've been taking care of Macy for me. Before, you weren't even home on your days off. To be honest, I was suspicious that something was going on. What do you mean, suspicious that something was going on? Um, like cheating or something? Why would you think that? Because you leave without telling me where you're going. Anyone would think that. No, no, no. That wouldn't happen. I have you and Macy. But you're right. I wasn't home a lot then. I'm sorry I made you worry. It's true. Macy was still a baby and I was always alone with her. I was so worried. You didn't tell me you were working on your days off until later. I was desperate to work hard back then. I went to my high school reunion for the first time in a long time, and I found that my classmates were really successful. Some of them even started their own companies. I wondered if I was like that. I guess I was getting impatient. 
Come to think of it, you got busy after the high school reunion, didn't you? Now that I think about it, I have plenty to be happy about. I was going in the wrong direction. I see. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were thinking that. I said a lot of terrible things to you back then. It's okay. Thanks to your words of encouragement, I realized I was wrong. I'm glad you're back to your old self. Family is the most important thing. Let's continue to support each other and live our lives as we do now. That's right. We still have a long life ahead of us. I'm glad to hear that. Well, Yvonne, you have work tomorrow so you can go to bed first. Okay. Good luck at work, Tucker. Dinner is in the fridge. Thank you. Have a safe trip home. Tucker, where are you now? You just left a little earlier saying you were going to your parents' house. You're still nearby, aren't you? I forgot to give Macy a change of clothes. She gets her clothes dirty when she plays outside, so if you can, I'd like you to come back for a minute. Text me back when you see this message. Hi, Yvonne. I just got a message about a change of clothes. Oh good, you got my message. That's right. I had a change of clothes for Macy, but I forgot to give it to you. If you're still around, I wanted you to come and get it. Oh, come on. Don't go texting me about something like that. The clothes will work out somehow or other. Oh, um... Just have some alone time. You can relax and forget about raising kids sometimes. But... Don't worry. Mom and Dad are here. They'll take care of Macy. Okay, fine. I mean, we're enjoying ourselves over here. I don't want you to bother me with trivial stuff. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Anyway, don't worry about Macy. You do whatever you feel like. Okay. Well, take care of Macy. Hey, Tucker, where are you? Please, pick up the phone. Hey, Tucker. Yvonne again. What do you want this time? I told you not to call me so often. Tucker, where are you? What? We're all at the restaurant. A restaurant? What restaurant? A restaurant near my parents' house. My mom and dad are with us. And Macy? Of course she's with us. We're having a really good time. Stop bothering me. Having a good time? She's having an emergency operation. What? Operation? She fell off the playground equipment at the park and fractured her skull. A fracture? And her head? You're lying. There's no way I'd lie about something like this. Is Macy okay? Is she conscious? You know what? You didn't know anything? No, I mean... It's funny, isn't it? You're supposed to be eating at the restaurant. Macy's in the operating room at the hospital, okay? No, actually, I lied about the restaurant. Huh? Then where are you? Um, I'm at a convenience store. Why are you at a convenience store? I was thirsty, so I thought I'd get a soda or something. Hmm, are your mother and father with you? No, I'm alone. Why did you lie about being at the restaurant? I was scared. I thought you'd be angry for not keeping an eye on Macy. Macy was playing alone in the park. It was a park near your parents' house. Your mother found Macy collapsed under the playground equipment. She called an ambulance right away. Oh, 
Is that what happened? If no one had found her, what do you think would have happened to her? I'm sorry. Hey, why did you leave Macy alone? Your mother said that you didn't even show up at their house. And after Macy was taken to the hospital, your mother called you several times. She said you've been ignoring her calls. I had my phone on silent mode and didn't even notice the calls coming in. Why did you put your phone on silent mode? I'm so sorry. I'll tell you all the details later. Anyway, I'm headed to the hospital right now. What hospital is Macy at? Is it near my parents' house? I'm not telling you. Huh? Why not? Because I don't want you to come. I'm Macy's father. I don't trust you anymore. I said I was sorry. You think just saying you're sorry will make it go away? Then what am I supposed to do? Tell me why you left Macy alone in the park. I'll explain it to you later. Not later. Can you tell me now? Where were you? Who were you with? What were you doing? Why did you leave Macy alone? If you don't have a reason that is good enough to be able to look Macy in the face, then don't come at all. Don't be so dramatic. I'm sorry. Can you just give me a minute? This is all so sudden, and I'm a little confused. I'm the one who's confused. That's fine. I guess you don't have to come. Hey, Yvonne. At least, tell me the name of the hospital. Yvonne, how's Macy doing? Mom told me she was unconscious when she was rushed to the emergency room. Is she awake yet? Yvonne, please text me back. I'm really sorry. She's regained consciousness. I see. When will she be discharged? Or does she still need to stay in the hospital for a while? For a few more days. That's a pretty long time, but it's great that she woke up. Great? How can you say that? I'm sorry. I'm really appalled. Pretending to go back to your parents' house to hang out with your girlfriend? I thought it would be okay for just a little while. Macy is only three years old. I heard you went to the amusement park with her last week. You lied about your girlfriend, calling her your relative's sister. How could I tell my own daughter I was cheating on you? Are you stupid? It's insane to take your daughter on the fling. Oh, I... I guess you wanted to play the role of a good father who plays with his child on his day off. You're a scumbag to bring your child along with you while you're playing around with another woman. The reason you left her alone the other day was because your parents weren't going to be home until the evening. You thought you would just let her play in the park until they got back. She had an accident because you weren't there. I'm really sorry about that. To Macy and of course to you. Rather than Macy getting hurt badly, I would have rather had her with you and your lover. There's a reason I left her alone. I know. Macy told me that she could play alone, right? Macy told me. She said it was boring because you were hanging out with a woman she doesn't even know. What the hell were you doing in front of a kid? No, no, no. I didn't do anything. Don't lie to me. Well, I might have held hands with her, but... You're such an asshole. It's not like the kid didn't think anything of it. She wondered why you were being so friendly to a woman other than me. I'm so sorry. I know it's not enough to apologize, but Macy and you are really important to me. I'm sorry, but I'm getting a divorce. Wait a minute. Divorce? You betrayed me and Macy. Divorce is the only option. But I... I told you everything honestly. I told you I'd break up with the other woman, right? I even showed you my text history. I feel horrible, 
so you have to forgive me. Did you think that if you told me everything and apologized, I would forgive you? That's what surprised me. I'm telling you, you're the only person I really love. You're so full of crap. It's true, believe me. So you don't love her? The girl I'm having an affair with? I mean, it's just for fun. It's not serious. Oh, really? You're not serious? You're willing to let your three-year-old daughter play alone in the park just to meet up with a woman? That's... I really can't believe it. I'm sorry, Yvonne. From now on, I'll live only for you and Macy. So don't tell me you're divorcing me. You put your own daughter in danger. If anything happens to her, it's too late. I can't even forgive you for cheating me. How can life go back to normal? But you can't live without me either, right? Huh? It's not easy to raise a child by yourself. You have to work, take care of the house, and raise a child. Even when we were both working, it was hard. It's impossible for you to get divorced and be a single parent. You're trying to be tough now, but if you leave me, you'll regret it for sure. Don't worry about that. Huh? I was already doing it on my own. Even when you were constantly paying all your attention to your mistress, you lied about working late. You were out seeing her, weren't you? Are you really going to raise a child on your own? When somebody becomes a single parent, you find a way to work and raise your child. If I just change what I'm doing now, I'll figure out a way to raise her. I mean, it might even be easier if you weren't here. I won't have to take care of a husband who can't even do any housework. But Macy needs a father. If you divorce me, you're taking a father away from his daughter. She's better off without a father like you. Oh, come on now. A father who cheats on his wife in front of his children? Talk about a wrong education. I don't want to leave Macy and you. Huh? You're the one who made us leave. What are you talking about? Who's the selfish one? Who do you think did terrible things? All I can do is apologize, but I really regret it from the bottom of my heart. If you leave me like this, I'll never get over it. We have nothing to do with you not being able to get back on your feet. Don't play the victim when you deserve it. Oh, wait a second. I've got an idea. If we start over, you won't have to work anymore. Huh? Until now, we were both working, so you were too busy to, right? But if you become a full-time housewife, you can concentrate on housework and the childcare. And I'll work harder than ever to make up for it. What do you think? Don't you think that's a good idea? No. I've worked hard this far, and I'll continue to work. I won't have to start over with you. Why are you so obsessed with your job? Women don't make much money even if they are working hard. How dare you? When I asked you before if I should switch jobs to work from home, you said I should keep my job. Did I? Have you forgotten already? Well, I guess you objected so that my mind wouldn't turn to the cheating. No, that's not it. Then you wouldn't have said that if you thought I didn't have to work. And the most unforgivable thing is that you made Macy lie to me. I heard you told Macy, don't tell mom that dad is playing with a relative's sister. If you tell her, then you won't be able to see mommy anymore. Macy didn't want to leave me. She kept her promise to you. That's unthinkable. How can you threaten a three-year-old child? I'm sorry. I'll spend the rest of my life making amends to Macy. And to you, Yvonne, of course. From now on, I'll do whatever you say, whatever you want. So please, don't divorce me. You lost my trust. To the point that there's no going back. I was so happy when you started playing with Macy. You betrayed my feelings too. Yvonne, please, give me another chance. I'll be a better father this time. I've been giving you chances for a long time. 
I don't need a father or a husband who betrays his wife and child to focus on his affair. Oh, come on, seriously? I don't want to be alone. Oh, by the way, your mom and dad are cutting all ties off with you. What? Even my parents are abandoning me? They said, their idiot son put his mistress before their precious grandchild. No wonder they disowned you. Well, that's what's gonna happen. Enjoy the rest of your long life alone. My husband didn't agree to divorce, so it took some time. But thanks to the help of a divorce lawyer, the divorce was successfully finalized. I also got custody of Macy. After Macy's accident, my husband confessed to me. My husband's affair partner was a classmate from high school. They exchanged contact information when they met again at the reunion. They had been continually going on dates without telling me. He showed me all the contents of their texts. They were so terrible they made me cringe. As soon as I saw them, I knew that we would never be able to reconstruct the marriage. Of course, I demanded child support from my husband and compensation from the cheating partner. By the way, the affair partner was also married. My husband is also going to have to pay compensation to her husband. My husband has been persistently contacting me, asking if he can meet with his daughter. I'm not going to let him see her until she wants to see him herself. I think that he should live each day alone, regretting what he did. As for me, I switched to a full-fledged work-from-home job after the divorce. I live with my daughter in an apartment near my parents' house. For a while, my paycheck was lower. But recently, I've been getting more job offers. Thankfully, I'm earning more than when I was working at the office. Even though I work from home, it is hard to raise a child by myself. Thanks to the support of my parents and parents-in-law, my daughter is growing up very well. I will continue to raise my daughter with love and affection. Thank you for watching! Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video!